to Real Issue Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn, and I have my co-host here, Dylan Weisselberg. And today was media day for the Miami Heat, and Jimmy Butler said in quotes, I could play the four, yes. If they absolutely need me to play the four, I could, yes. If they absolutely wanted to have a conversation about playing the four, I could, yes. But I'm not playing the four. So since Jimmy Butler is not playing the four, Dylan, who would you have play the four next to Bam Adebayo? So it, it, it's a good question. It's a good, it's a really good question. And it's definitely going to need to be addressed. This season Spolster is going to have to address it. Um, we're a small team. So guys are going to have to step up. Um, I, I like Martin at the four, Caleb Martin. Uh, the heat, the heat obviously like him a lot. Um, they think he's versatile. They, they put a lot of stock into to resigning him this off season. Um, I think they're going to, the, the, the little bit of time they give Jovich, um, the rookie this year, it, it playing, I think they're going to play him at the four. I think they'll play him next to Bam. Um, and then, and, and I like Struce at the four as well, because when, with Struce at the four, it spreads out, it spreads us out on offense. He, he, he needs to get better at defending, but he, he actually is really versatile on offense. He can take the ball to the hole. He can obviously shoot threes and he gets, he got criticized a lot, obviously for the Boston series, but he had a really good season. Um, he kind of just had a slump at the worst possible time. That he was. I like those three guys um, playing the four. Uh, Spolster's going to have to come up with something because we are a small team. And teams in the East that we're going to be competing with, they kind of got better. Some teams got bigger. And we kind of we didn't really do too much in that department. So Spolster's going to have to pull something out at that four spot. Absolutely. And for me, it's probably going to be either Darius Days or or possibly moving Bam to the four and then having Yurtsevin play that five out. Now, I think that Darius Days, he's a great three-point shooter. He's an underrated defender, and he also plays like P.J. Tucker. He has that uh, P.J. like Tucker frame. Also, too, if you're able to bring in your and move Bam down to the four, I think it also brings size. I think that Yurtsevin is a great rebounder. Now, Bam can worry more on the offensive end, and then now he'll be able to trust Yurtsevin behind him in terms of protecting the paint, and protecting the rim. Now, what do you think about um, possibly Caleb Martin playing that four? Uh, Martin, yeah, I like I like Martin at the four for sure. But go piggybacking off what you said with 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 Bam at the four and, and, and you're at the five. I like that a lot because it it opens things up for Bam and and we need that size. We got out, out rebounded by Boston really bad, um, and it, it, we need that size. And that's definitely a lineup that's that Spolstra is going to have to incorporate throughout the season um, with Bam at the four. And, and, and I think they're going to get, give Yurtsevin a lot more minutes. Um, I think they like him a lot and, and I like him a lot too. And he has a lot of potential. So I, a Bam at the four, I mean, that could be, he could be the, Yurt could be the first guy off the bench. You never know. Uh, but it, we'll see. We'll definitely see. Yes. And absolutely. But, Hey, but guys, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Who should play that four? I don't think that Jimmy Butler should play the four only because we need him fresh for the playoffs. I don't really want him banging bodies with the bigger guys at that four position. But let us know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 700 subscribers.